If you still stuck around, thank you so much for watching my video. I just wanted to get into a little bit of the technical side of developing this craft and some design decisions I made throughout. Uh, the first thing, of course, is obviously something I haven't seen many people trying for the land speed record do, and that's incorporate these launch stabilizers uh, in their crafts, which I find are actually super helpful because without them, uh, for some reason, these wheels clip into the ground, and because of that, when the game pops the craft back out of the runway, uh, the craft doesn't typically end up pointing directly down the runway. So adding the launch stabilizers prevent that and actually enable for a lot higher success rate amongst these crafts. Um, if we'll look at our center of thrust and center of mass, the center of mass is right about at the center line. The only thing bringing it down a little bit would be these wheels being just below, um, but the slight variance isn't enough to make the craft unstable, and the slight variance that it did make I've accounted for with the parachute configuration. Uh, this has been done with a bit of trial and error to make this arrow-like format instead of something perfectly vertically symmetrical, and I find that anything really deviating from this design. It has the right uh, pull on the top and the bottom of the craft to really keep the thing level. Uh, any deviation from that will either force the craft up into the air, which isn't, you know, would invalidate the run, theoretically, or anything too low would push the craft into the ground and break the wheels and then hit the cockpit and everything would explode. Um, uh, the reason I use three fuselages and engines is because I found out that even with a lot of reduced weight and only two engines, we weren't getting enough thrust. And in order to hit the 600 meter per second mark before we break, we actually have to accelerate really quickly, and that can only really be done with three engines. Now, I know there was another example of a solid fuel thruster video done with three of these, and it burns pretty long, these things burn pretty hot. Um, but it doesn't have, it has about a fifth of the thrust that these liquid fuel engines do. And uh, it burns through pretty much all of the fuel in these tanks. Um, another thing I should point out is these are the only tanks on the craft, these three. These back are just empty fuselages, and they are for the purpose of lengthening out the craft and keeping it stable. Just like I have the wheels as wide as possible, if I made the craft any shorter, there's a good chance that it would tip during the launch. So thank you so much for sticking around, and I hope you guys appreciate the video. Just no freaking way out.